There is no doubt that from the beginning of 2023 to the present, the biggest news in the global chip industry is the mysterious agreement between the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands. On January 27, 2023, national security officials from the United States, the Netherlands, and Japan concluded high-level negotiations at the White House and reached an agreement on some restrictions on the export of chip manufacturing equipment to China. The new rules are extended to companies such as ASML in the Netherlands, Tokyo Electron, and Nikon in Japan. The purpose of the agreement is to thwart China's military modernization by stifling China's progress in chips, supercomputers and artificial intelligence. A series of words and events in recent years have brought ASML, which was previously only familiar to a few people in the industry, into the public eye. The jewel in the crown of chip manufacturing equipment, DUV lithography machine, EUV lithography machine, overtaking Nikon and Canon, lithography machine overlord, Huawei chip supply cutoff, etc. Well, ASML is an important cornerstone of the global technology supply chain. According to data released by Gartner, ASML currently controls more than 90% of the global chip manufacturing lithography equipment market. More importantly, ASML is also the only EUV lithography machine supplier in the world. Yes, many people know the company ASML. However, not many people know that ASML and China's Tsinghua University had a honeymoon period. Under the shadow of the mysterious agreement between the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands, do they still remember that the current enemy used to be their very close friend? Facing the former best friend, how did ASML respond to the US-Japan-Dutch agreement? How did Tsinghua University and ASML help each other out of the predicament many years ago? In today's video, let's talk about this chip story from 35 years ago. Okay, let's get started. First of all, how did ASML react to the US-Japan-Dutch agreement? In December 2022, Peter Wenink, CEO of ASML, said in an interview that American chipmakers were able to sell the most advanced chips to Chinese customers, while ASML can only sell older chipmaking equipment, which seems contradictory. In addition, ASML's sales in mainland China only account for 15% of the total, while US chip equipment suppliers' sales in mainland China account for 25% of their total sales, and sometimes even exceed 30%. Under the pressure of the United States, we have given up enough. But American chip manufacturers can safely deal with China as a customer. On January 25, 2023, Peter Wenning said in an interview that the US-led semiconductor export control measures against China may eventually lead China to successfully develop its own technology in the field of high-end chip manufacturing equipment. If they can't get these machines, they will develop them themselves. It will take time, but eventually they will get there. That the laws of physics in China are the same as here, the more pressure you put on them, the more likely they are to go the extra mile. On January 28, 2023, an ASML spokesperson stated that he learned that the government has taken measures to reach an agreement, which targets advanced chip manufacturing technologies, including but not limited to advanced lithography equipment. The legislation will have to be detailed and finalized before it can come into force, and this will take time. We do not expect these measures to have a big impact on our published 2023 outlook. By the way, it is expected that ASML sales in 2023 will increase by more than 25% year on year. ASML, like many Dutch technology companies, grew out of electronics giant Philips Natlab. In 1967, the Natlab laboratory developed a prototype of a six-lens repeated exposure lithography machine, which was exhibited at the company's internal exhibition. A director of Philips came to visit. The lithography team was excitedly introducing the performance of the machine to the director, but the director suddenly walked away. It turned out that he was attracted by the new washing machine with automatic balancing system at the booth next door. The reason is simple. Compared with professional equipment such as photolithography machines, new washing machines can enter thousands of households, and of course they are more profitable. In 1984, Philips and Dutch chip equipment manufacturer Advanced Semiconductor Materials International, 
also known as ASMI, formed a new company to develop lithography machines for the growing semiconductor market. The new company is Advanced Semiconductor Materials Lithography, or ASML for short. 31 employees are said to have been working in a leaky shed next to Philips offices in Eindhoven at the time. At that time, the lithography machine market was already full of heroes, with more than 10 manufacturers, and the largest market share included the famous American instrument manufacturers Perkin Elmer and GCA, as well as Japan's Nikon and Canon. In 1988, Philips established a joint venture manufacturing plant in Taiwan. ASML has also begun to explore the Asian market. But in a highly competitive market with many suppliers, the little-known company from the Netherlands failed to seize the opportunity. ASML has few customers and cannot stand on its own. To make matters worse, shareholder ASMI was unable to maintain a high level of investment with little return and decided to exit. At this time, the global electronics industry has deteriorated, and Philips has announced a large-scale cost-cutting plan, causing the fate of this young lithography machine company very dangerous. ASML executives turned to Philips board member Henk Bott, who convinced his Philips board colleagues that Philips offered a last-ditch effort to save ASML. The early fate of Tsinghua University's semiconductor laboratory is very similar to that of ASML. In September 1980, the Institute of Microelectronics of Tsinghua University was established. Its predecessor can be traced back to the semiconductor major established by Tsinghua University in 1956. There are only 74 teachers and 61 students. At that time, the funds were very insufficient, and even the funds for the construction of the teaching building needed to be constructed and raised at the same time. As mentioned above, the ASML company at that time was also very anxious. They had almost no customers, shareholder ASMI withdrew, and Philips announced a massive cost-cutting plan. What's more terrible is that at that time, the Japanese Nikon and Canon companies were in full swing, firmly occupying the dominant position of lithography machines. Nikon alone occupies 50% of the market, followed by Canon. In 1988, ASML delivered the first stepper lithography machine to the Institute of Microelectronics of Tsinghua University. After that, the Institute of Microelectronics of Tsinghua University and ASML have maintained a long-term good cooperative relationship. Tsinghua University's Institute of Microelectronics has solved the problem of introducing lithography machines, and ASML has seen the hope of rising through the order of Tsinghua University. In 2000, ASML China branch was formally established. In May 2002, Mr. Doug Dunn, CEO of ASML, the Netherlands, visited Tsinghua University and signed a joint application technology cooperation agreement with the Institute of Microelectronics of Tsinghua University. On May 30, 2002, the Institute of Microelectronics of Tsinghua University and the Dutch company ASML recently signed an agreement in Beijing. The two parties decided to carry out cooperative research in the field of lithography technology. The development of this project is not only conducive to maintaining the leading position of the two parties in related scientific and technological fields, but also conducive to further improving the teaching and scientific research level of Tsinghua University's microelectronics discipline. It can also promote the development of China's IT industry by cooperating to introduce the lithography equipment manufacturing technology that China urgently needs. The total cost of this cooperation project is about 7 million euros, about 60 million yuan, and will be partially funded by the Dutch government through applying for the special funding ORET program opened by the Dutch government. In 2018, ASML established a global training center in Shanghai, and further established a local maintenance center in Beijing in 2021. At present, ASML has established a strong localization capability, with 15 offices. 11 warehousing and logistics centers, 3 development centers, 1 training center and 1 maintenance center in China. According to the financial report, revenue from mainland China will account for 14.7% of ASML's overall revenue in 2021, reaching 2.7 billion euros. Today, ASML occupies 90% of the world market for high-end lithography machines, and is a well-deserved leader in lithography machines. As Peter Wenink, CEO of ASML, pointed out, ASML is indispensable in the field of chip manufacturing. 
5G, artificial intelligence, etc. are increasing the demand for memory chips, so the market prospect of advanced lithography machines is promising. The most critical issue is that under the shadow of the mysterious agreement, I hope that ASML will not forget the cooperation with Tsinghua University 35 years ago. Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.